Hello everyone, welcome back to the Technomentalist channel. We're here today, I'm going to be talking about a stock that I recently purchased this week. Before we get started, I just wanted to say, go check out our Twitter, make sure you follow us there. We're very active on there, posting multiple times throughout the day. Today I have a bit of a different video. We'll be talking about a small position I took. This is different than the normal series that I usually do where I follow a portfolio. This is something I have in one of my tax-free portfolios, which I have not made public. With that being said, let's get right into the video and take a look at this renewable energy stock. Green Lane Renewables Inc. is a biofuel company. They have a lot of technologies that have to do with renewable natural gas, which we'll get into a bit later. For those of you that follow our channel, you know we're big believers in the energy transition. We have made multiple videos that demonstrate many changes that are going on around the world, whether it be companies or governments of countries committing to lower carbon technologies and lowering emissions worldwide. Taking a quick look at the chart, we can see that Greenlane has made quite the run within the past six months. It was sitting around the 50, 40, 30 cent range for quite a while, reaching an all-time high of 290 and then pulling back to around 258. So I got in at around 252 last week. It's a good price point for me personally, and I think it has a lot of room to go. We can also see that a significant amount of volume came in around November and December, and there ever since then it has taken off. Luckily, I was able to get in on a bit of a pullback, so I think there's still upward momentum to come from this stock. If the stock does pull back a little bit more into this range here, I will purchase more shares, as I do think that's a strong resistance point, and It'll be good to average down from the price of 258 if possible. Let's take a look at what Greenlane is as a company and what they're doing. Greenlane is one of the front runners in an emerging renewable gas market. The company provides biogas upgrading systems around the world. Their systems help a variety of different customers transform their waste into biogas, which they call a low value product turned into a high value, low carbon renewable resource. RNG or renewable natural gas is pipeline quality and fully interchangeable with current natural gas. Essentially it is the product of decomposition of organic matter, which has just been purified. Biogas can be used to fuel natural gas powered vehicles as well as for electricity generation and heating uses. Greenlane offers three different systems for biogas upgrading. The first is the water wash station. This Technology uses water to wash out the impurities in the biomatter and it is the most deployed biogas upgrading technology in the world. Basically, this technology just takes all the compounds out of the water and separates it from the methane, which is a pure form of dry RNG, often referred to as biomethane. This water wash technology is great because it does not require any chemicals or heat. You can simply just use water to get rid of the impurity. The second technology that Greenlane offers is the pressure swing absorption unit. This technology pretty much does the same thing. It just does it with a couple more steps and it is a bit more complicated. This unit uses pressure, dehydration, as well as chilling to treat the biomatter and is best used for high nitrogen applications. The third technology is membrane separation, which is better for small to medium scale projects and pretty much this technology just uses membranes to separate the carbon dioxide and methane. The most recent financials available for Greenlane are the Q3 2020 release. I'm impressed with Greenlane's financial position as of September 30th, 2020. Their cash balance increased significantly and they reduced their promissory note with just 5.8 million do in the short term. Overall, I'm impressed with where they stand from a balance sheet perspective. If we look at the income statement, we can see that the company has significantly increased their revenues year over year and actually swung into profitability for this quarter, which is good to see. And for the first nine months of 2020, Greenlane has increased their revenues by a lot and significantly decreased their loss, which is great to see from this company. It is one thing I look for in my investments is a small cap company that's swinging over to profitability. To finish off the video, let's just take a look at Greenlane's presentation from the quarter end. So we know that Greenlane, they make renewable natural gas, which is great. This is a key point here, which you've seen come up in a lot of our videos. The world is decarbonizing. We know we've established that there's an energy transition. So there's going to be a lot of investments in these technologies and people are switching to these sources of energy. And RNG is very important because it is a solution in two of the most difficult sectors to decarbonize, which are transportation and the natural gas grid. We will see later on in this presentation how Greenlane is one of the leaders in this market. Some key investment considerations include rapid growing RNG space, large supply with a backlog, 
and a huge pipeline. Greenlane also has healthy margin base, which will allow it to approach profitability as we saw in the financial statements. And this is going to be a huge market with estimates from the International Energy Association as well as BP valuing it at over $90 billion. For those of you who still don't get what Greenlane does, I think this chart sums it up pretty nicely. Pretty much they take all of these sources which are used to make biogas, they are right here, the upgraders, which turn these sources into the fuels that we need for vehicle fueling as well as electricity and heating. And some advantages the company highlights includes a direct substitute for current natural gas as well as a no carbon 100% renewable source. Some of the market drivers which you've seen in other videos we've talked about but this just confirms it. Countries, municipalities and companies rolling out plans for net zero emissions so we'll see huge investments in this area and here is a chart just showing different countries and their commitments to renewable natural gas. Here is the report that I had mentioned, estimates for the global RNG production in industry. You can see there's significant percentage growth from now until 2050 from both EI IEA and BP. I jumped down a bit, but we can see here that Greenlane is one of the global leaders in biogas upgrading. This map outlines their presence throughout the world with over 110 systems delivered in 18 countries. This here shows how Greenlane is dominating this market with the most installed capacity compared to its peers. So looking to the future, what is Greenlane trying to do? They see potential in growing long-term lucrative contracts, whether it be partnering with production of RNG, which will generate recurring revenues and stronger margins for the company. And we know that there is a huge market opportunity for these sales. Recently, it was announced that Greenlane had signed a joint venture agreement with Swen Impact Fund for Transition. This joint venture combines Greenlane's market presence and their amazing technology with the Swen's financial banking experience, allowing for solutions, removing the burden of Greenlane's clients or third parties, replacing that initial payment for the equipment with a monthly fee to use the equipment. So they have many different technologies, a lot of different products that can sell to a variety of customers as well as different ways of delivering those products to, to the customers. Jumping down to the financial highlights, we can see the growth is confirmed for sales backlog the sales pipeline growth as well as revenue growth. What impresses me the most about this is that the company has a market cap of just 275 million so they're a smaller company but they have a huge backlog, a huge sales pipeline which will allow them to grow bigger and bigger in the future in an expanding market. These are just some of the reasons why I purchased Greenland and why I'm going to continue to increase my position as the cash allows for me to. I'm very impressed with this company and as I mentioned earlier would average down if there's ever an opportunity to and I think that we'll see this market cap increase significantly within the next couple of years as they continue to increase their sales and gain a larger position within the sector as well as the growing sector contributing to that as well and with a rising market cap we'll obviously see the price increase as well so that's why I've purchased Greenland Renewables. As always you guys this is not investment advice it's just the personal reason for why I purchased this stock and a bit of research into why I made that decision. If you haven't yet go follow us on Twitter and thank you for watching the video.